So you're thinking about moving to North New Jersey, but you want to know about the schooling here. What are the top schools that you can send your kids to in North New Jersey? We're going to find out right now. If you're new to the channel and want to know everything there is about living in North New Jersey, the schooling, the good stuff, and the not so good stuff, hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you're the first to know about what's going on in North New Jersey. For those that don't know, this is Seth with the Living North New Jersey channel. We get calls, emails, messages every single day from people just like you who's looking to make a move to North New Jersey and we absolutely love it. So whether it's one day later or maybe a hundred days later, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or maybe schedule a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with us so we can help you make a smooth move to North New Jersey. So today we're going to be talking about the top 10 schools in North New Jersey and it's a really good idea so make sure you watch until the very end so you know what these schools exactly are because they're all in different townships and different cities all over North New Jersey. So let's jump right at it. So number one is going to be Milburn Township Schools and the towns that benefit from the school is actually Milburn and Short Hills. Um, so Milburn Township Schools is situated right in the heart of Essex County. Milburn, the township, really prides itself on a holistic approach to education. I mean, beyond its strong academic track record, the district is actually renowned for extracurricular programs like its forensic team, which has consistently secured national awards, proximity to urban amenities while preserving a community-centric atmosphere makes it a favored choice for many families because of these reasons. So let me give you a unique fact about Milburn's Township School. Um, did you know that Milburn High School has frequently been recognized as one of the top public high schools in the nation? Yeah, it's pretty impressive, right? So let's go over what stands out of, in Milburn's Township Schools. First off, the forensic teams, as we mentioned, is out of this world. I mean, they've won national awards. That's pretty amazing. Let's talk about the location for Milburn because it's a short train ride away from New York City giving students big opportunities in the Big Apple and folks that like the pizza there could enjoy it whenever they want to. And for the people that work in New York City, um, it's a great place to live in, a great suburb and easy commute to the city if that's something that you're looking forward to. All right, coming right up, number two, Glen Rock Public Schools. So the town that benefits from the school is actually just Glen Rock. So it's not like a regional school where there's a few different towns in the vicinity that use it. Glen Rock Public Schools is located in Bergen County, Glen Rock, and stands out for its commitment to both academic and extracurricular excellence. I mean, got to get best of both worlds, right? Their theater program has consistently received statewide recognition a testament to their dedication to the arts. Additionally to that, their marching band is a source of local pride with performances often featuring in community events. So if your kid is interested in marching band or theater, this might be the perfect school for them. A unique fact about this school is that their high school was named a National Blue Ribbon School. That's like the Oscar for its schools. And what stands out about the school is that, like we mentioned, the theater arts program in Glen Rock really deserves a standing ovation because they've bagged statewide awards all around the world. Um, and Glen Rock's Point Downtown is a backdrop for many, many movies. So students might spot a celebrity or two in the downtown area. Moving on to number three, and that's gonna be Montclair Public Schools. So the only town that really benefits from the school is Montclair itself. And if you haven't watched our full vlog tour of Montclair, I'd definitely suggest you check that out so you can take a look at what Montclair looks like. We also visit the downtown area. So Montclair is another gem in the Essex County. It's recognized for its innovative curriculum and diverse program offerings. I mean, the district's magnet system is a significant draw, allowing students to delve deep into specialized courses from the arts to tech to global studies, you name it. I mean, this approach ensures students receive an education tailored to their interests and future aspirations. So if you want your kid to go very, very far and you're thinking about a school, maybe you want to be in a central area and central part of North New Jersey, Montclair must might be your best bet. Let me tell you what stands out about Montclair. I mean, first off, this city is very diverse. So you have lots of different ethnicities, lots of different restaurants, cafes all around the area. And um, if you want your child to experience an 
you know, diverse school that's very, very high in quality might be a good place to be, you know, um, for a child, for good living. Taxes are a bit high, but, you know, it makes up for it in many other ways. Moving on is going to be Tenafly Public Schools. And the only town that benefits from this is Tenafly, so it's not a regional kind of school. So Tenafly Public Schools is situated in Bergen County um, and Tenafly has been considered really a hub of educational excellence as they like to call it. And the district places like a really strong emphasis on, you know, having global connections with student exchange programs, really offering a first-hand experience of diverse cultures. I mean, first off, like their international food is very notable and they have like an annual event celebrating different cultures represented in the student body of the school. Um, unique fact about the school is that they actually ranked among the top 2% of schools in New Jersey for academic performance. And the thing that I would say that stands out about the school is probably students having a worldview thanks to the famous exchange programs that they have to offer. And every year they host an international food fest. It's like tasting the world without leaving town. And they have all different kinds of foods. So make sure you check that out if you live in the area. Number five, we're coming in hot with Northern Highlands Regional High School in Allendale. And the town's benefiting from this is actually Allendale, Upper Saddle River, and Hohokus. Um, three amazing towns right next to each other. Um, so Northern Highlands Regional High School is actually based in Allendale. The school district has a unique global outlook. I mean, their global humanities program equips students with a comprehensive understanding of world affairs, emphasizing really the environmental stewardship. They have, you know, all different types of programs from recycling initiatives and positioning them as a district that truly cares about the planet. I mean, they really care. They want to do their best and they want to teach the kids how to do it. And a really cool unique fact about Northern Highlands is it's basically like a cultural hub. I mean, their annual multicultural festival is amazing. They have different traditions and annual feasts and programs for the students um, to really get a taste of every single ethnicity out there. Um, and that's why it also is a diverse school for itself. And as we mentioned, the thing that probably stands out the most about the school is the global humanities program they have. Think of it as like a passport to world knowledge. I mean, they are very environmentally conscious. Their green initiatives would probably make you proud if you saw your kid doing all this hard work and volunteering within their school. Coming in at number six, moving on to Ridgewood Public Schools. And the only town that benefits from this township school is actually gonna be Ridgewood itself, which is one of the best schools in all of New Jersey. So Ridgewood Public Schools, a renowned district in Bergen County, Ridgewood achieves a balance between rigorous academics and creative pursuits. And let me tell you what I mean by this. Their music program, which has received accolades from the Grammy Foundation and their art exhibitions demonstrate their commitment to fostering creativity among students. And let me tell you a unique fact about their music program. They caught the Grammy Foundation's attention. That's huge. With a high school or any school and it being in New Jersey is absolutely phenomenal. Something that stands out about the school is gonna be beyond academics. They focus on, they really focus on holistic development. I mean, art exhibitions here are vibrant and thought provoking. The community is tight knit and there's always a friendly face around that you might know, like a neighbor, friend, you name it. Number seven, Chatham School District. The towns that benefit from this uh, school is actually Chatham Borough and Chatham Township. So those are two separate small cities that are very right next to each other. Um, both are located in Morris County. Um, it's not just about academic for them. I mean, they do care about academic. That's one of their highly ranked, you know, categories within the school, but it also stands out for its emphasis on community involvement. Um, annual charity drives that witness participation from students, staff, and the wider community that supports the school. Uh, really a testament to their ethos of giving back to the community and people overall. Unique fact about this school is they've been nationally recognized for their top-notch education. So if you look on Google, you're going to see the school somewhere 
up in there in the rankings. What stands out about the school is that the community is at the heart of Chatham. Their charity drives are epic. I mean, uniting everyone for a good cause and the talent shows are they're amazing to watch. They're fun for families and friends coming together on you know Friday nights, things like that. Number eight, some people thought we were gonna forget this one, but nope, it's gonna be here at 100% Livingston Public Schools. Livingston Public Schools uh, is actually located in Essex County. Livingston's strong STEM programs have produced numerous Simons competition finalists over the years. So this district really cares about its you know, innovation, technological progress, and really it's evident in its curriculum and student achievements. If you look at the classes that they offer, the programs, the extracurricular activities, um, after school, within the school, you name it. I mean, they really are about progressing in many, many different ways. That's why Livingston is one of the top public schools here in North New Jersey. Number nine is gonna be Mountain Lakes School District. And the town that goes here is actually Mountain Lakes. Not a huge town, but an amazing and beautiful town in the suburbs of New Jersey. So Mountain Lakes School District is located in Morris County, Mountain Lakes. It's dedicated to really ensuring the well-being of the students. Their wellness weeks with uh, focusing on yoga and meditation sessions are really designed to provide students with tools to manage stress and maintain mental health. So you can tell this school really cares about the physical and the mental well-being of its students. A unique fact about the school is the school's architecture is historic, dating back to the early 20th century. Let me tell you something that stands out about Mountain Lakes School District. And what stands out is they go beyond textbooks. I mean, Wellness Weeks here is an oasis of calm with yoga and meditation sessions. Um, so it's really about nurturing the mind, body and soul. As we mentioned, they really, really care about the students. And last but not least, number 10 is going to be Ramapo Indian Hills Regional High School District. The towns that benefit from this is three different towns, Franklin Lakes, Oakland, and Wyckoff. Both, not both, but three of them being amazing towns to live in. Ramapo Indian Hills Regional High School District, residing in Bergen County, this district emphasizes providing students with a range of choices, both in academics and extracurriculars. So, robust athletic program that they offer and technologically advanced infrastructure are some of the hallmarks of this district. Now, let me tell you a unique fact that you probably did not know about the school. They offer students a variety of courses. You name it, they have it. I mean, if a school has 15 classes to choose from for an average high school student, this one has probably around 30 to 35. What stands out is their athletic tradition which is super fierce. I mean, football games, community festivals, um, the tech wing that they have, making them ready for tomorrow, today. So that's it for today. I mean, we went over the 10 top schools in North New Jersey. If you have questions about any of these schools, or if you want a list of any other schools, feel free to comment below, you know, schedule a Zoom call with us and we'd be happy to share other suburbs that have stellar schools. I mean, I know so many other schools in the area that are amazing. And one, a few different ways that you can really check this out is greatschools.org, niche.com, and many different websites that give you a, better, a really good understanding of these schools in terms of its academic performance, the teacher to student ratio, and things like that. If you still haven't hit that subscribe button, I mean, hit the thumbs up button. It's completely free of charge and it helps this video reach others that want to learn about North New Jersey's top schools. And so don't forget, if you are planning to make a move here or anywhere in within the North Jersey area or even New Jersey, schedule a Zoom call with us. We'd be happy to, you know, do a consult with you to show you what might be the best town for you. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you around town.